hello hello it's Klee. i'm back guys once again we're doing a silent movie because i filmed this at two in the morning and everybody was sleeping so also i can't do my hair and talk at the same time so love me or love me don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here we're gonna just jump right in as you can see i am smoothing out my hair I had it in a middle part low bun, so that's why you see the gel and everything. I'm just kind of finger combing, adding some oils. Before I go in and start adding in some gel, I don't want to put too much product in my hair because I'm trying to keep it as stretched out so that I can switch styles because it does get pretty crusty after day two and I have to kind of freshen it up. So I'm just adding some gel and then you also see me adding in some edge control and both of these products are by Laid by Lyra. I'm trying to figure out what kind of gel combo I like and also I didn't want to finish using all of my Ebon gel because it's not as much product and you get a lot more with this edge control so I just wanted to see what both of these products did for my hair. I think I'm going to end up trying to use gel the next time though because it kind of gets my hair a little bit more laid but it takes forever to dry so that's my only problem. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use my hair hook to tighten up my hair. This, I'm able to kind of get it pretty tight. I just personally cannot put a scrunchie into my hair tight at all, especially in the updo. I'm also adding the edge control to my actual ponytail as well. Uh, that helps with my blending. As you can see, my hair does not match this braiding hair super well, so it made it a little bit more difficult for it to blend. The trick is for me, as you can see, I kind of struggled like to figure out how to start the braid because I was trying to wrap my hair within the braiding hair. So that way it would blend a little bit better in the braid. You can kind of see my hair at the top, but it ends up working out pretty well. So we're gonna just act like we don't see that whole shebang. This is my second time using this braiding hair. I got it from the beauty supply store. They had no one bees left, so I had to get the color one. So that's why it's a little bit darker. But once the gel and everything dries in my hair, it kind of really matches. I really wish right here that I would have taken a little bit more hair out. So be sure to take a little bit extra hair out just so you'll have enough hair to wrap around. As you can see, mine looks a little skimpy. Also, another tip when you're braiding your hair back, braid a little bit lower. I know your arms may hurt like mine were, but before you pull it to the front and start braiding, make sure you braid it down a little bit lower. Only because now my braid, as you can see, is favoring that side of my head and it's not directly straight down the middle of my head, which was really pesky and still is. If you watched my most recent hair tutorial with my locks in, you saw how I did my baby hair. So pretty much the same situation here. And I'm gonna just tie it with a scarf and we are finito. All right guys, so as you can see, this style is super fabulous and simple. Once you get the braiding section down, you're gonna be feeling a lot better. It's a little bit difficult, but it's just worth it when you get it together. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one, bye.